What's up everybody, Tactical Production 7 here, back another Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial is going to be on the Craft Guide mod, and what this mod does is it adds a crafting guide to Minecraft, so you will be able to look up any crafting recipe you will need. Um, so if you're new to the game, or if the, you simply just don't know a lot of the different crafting recipes, this will definitely help you out. So, you can see here I have the crafting guide in my hand, and if you go ahead and right click while holding it, it will open up the crafting guide. And you can see we have every single craftable item within Minecraft right here. Now you can go ahead and go to the show slash hide recipes by crafting type. And you can see we can either show the recipes of this type or we can hide them. So you can hide regular crafting recipes or you can hide the different furnace recipes or you can make it to where you can show only the crafting recipes or the only the furnace recipes. Currently, it comes where it's, uh, the brewing recipes are off. So I'll go ahead and click on Show Recipes, and it should show us the brewing recipes as well. There you go. Now we have the brewing recipes. So you can every single item that can be crafted within Minecraft with the different platforms, you will be able to look up. Um, so we have the input and output here. I'm not quite too sure what these do. Um, you could read about that on the forum page. And we have a filter right here. So say you want only items that are crafted with diamonds just go ahead and click on a diamond you can either do it from here and then you have all the diamonds stuff right here go ahead and click clear item then you go ahead and click on set item and then you can go ahead and select whatever item you want that is required in a crafting recipe or you can go ahead and search down here so again if I were to type in diamond oh I did not mean to make that come up why did that come up okay Sorry about that. If I go ahead and type in diamond, you can see we have all the diamond crafting recipes right here. And again, you have a text search right here. So if we click on that, it will select that. And again, you'll have all the diamond crafting recipes. So if we go ahead and click clear again, down here, we do have a little blue arrow. You can see in the bottom left hand, right hand corner of the crafting guide. And this will just allow you to expand it. So if you want it to be full screen, you can go ahead and do that and expand it to full screen. So that is it for the crafting guide. Very simple mod, yet very, very useful. So let's go ahead and come up here and I will show you how to craft this. So you need four pieces of paper in all the corners of the crafting table. Then you'll need four books also around the edges of the crafting table and then a crafting table in the center and that will give you your crafting guide. So that is how to create the crafting, how to craft the crafting guide, and that's pretty much it for the crafting guide. So it's a very good mod to use, again, if you don't know um, any of the crafting recipes. So I now need to clear up my Minecraft jar. After I do that, I will be back and I will show you how to install this. Alright, so what you're going to need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program, such as WinRAR, 7-Zip, or WinZip. All these archiving programs will relatively work the same exact way, so you can use whatever you prefer. I will be using WinRAR in this tutorial. You will then need to download Minecraft Forge and the Craft Guide mod itself. So to download Minecraft Forge and the Craft Guide, I will go ahead and give you a link to these two pages in the description. First off, for the Craft Guide, if we go ahead and scroll down, you can see we have a screenshot here showing you the Craft Guide and all the information you will need to know about the mod. But if we go ahead and keep scrolling down until we see the downloads right here, which is the current version for Minecraft 1.4.2, go ahead and click on this right here, and this will take us to an ad fly. And then it'll say, please wait five seconds up in the top right hand corner. After that five seconds is up, a yellow button saying skip ad will appear. Go ahead and click on skip ad. And this will bring us over to, no, I'm sorry. This will automatically download the mod. So that is how to download the craft guide. Now for Minecraft Forge, if we go ahead and come over to this page right here, you're going to want to download the universal version. And you can either download it from AdFly or direct whatever you prefer to do. Keep in mind, downloading it from AdFly will help support the mod creator. So that is how to download everything you will need to successfully install this mod. So when you're ready to install the mod, go ahead and come over to start, then type in percent at data percent, just like this down here in the bottom left hand corner. Then go ahead and open up your roaming, then open your dot Minecraft, open your bin, left click your Minecraft jar, then right click it, do open with and select whatever archive program you're using. I'm using WinRAR, so I'm going to go ahead and open it with WinRAR. Now, do not close your bin because we will be coming back to it later on in the tutorial, so go ahead and minimize that for now. So, once you have your Minecraft jar open, go ahead and open up Minecraft Forge. 
and you're gonna, you're gonna want to put all these files into your Minecraft jar and the easiest way to do that will be to hold control then hit A and simply drag all this into your Minecraft jar and hit OK go ahead and close Minecraft Forge now in your Minecraft jar you should see a folder called metainf if you do not have this folder that that is okay you can go ahead and just skip this step but if you do have it what you want to do is delete it so go ahead and left click it then right click it select delete files then hit yes and that will delete metainf you want to make sure you are always deleting metainf when you're installing a mod to Minecraft if you don't it will make Minecraft crash so after you delete metainf go ahead and close your Minecraft jar we're done with that now you should have minimized your bin so go ahead and bring that back up and hit back so we're back in the dot minecraft folder now you're going to need a mods folder in your dot minecraft folder so if you do not have one already you'll need to create one and to do that you want to simply right click within the dot minecraft folder go down to new and select folder this will create a new folder and you want to rename this folder mods so just m o d s no capitalization just like this right here go ahead and open up the mods folder that you just created or if you already had one and simply drag the craft guide zip file into the mods folder. Go ahead and close that down, and that's it. You're done installing the mod. So I hope this video helped you guys out. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.